morning everyone so as you saw at the beginning of the video the conditions are brilliant today and I'm really so lucky because today is Sunday <laughs> so Sunday and brilliant conditions that have been I think that have been only once a year or once every two years I'm really so so excited today to have finally some beautiful photos in the fog or during the fog because I miss I miss making photos I think the last one was one year ago or something like that because when I see fog or when I found fog it's on my way to work <laughs> so but today is Sunday I'm really so so excited um, I woke up actually I woke up 5 a.m. something like that I wanted to drink <laughs> water and I looked uh, through the window and I found a lot of work. I couldn't see the street, I couldn't see the car. So I decided that I will go out today. I put my alarm on 7 p.m. now, something like 7.30. And yeah, I hope I'll be able to find something. Now, I, I will definitely find something because in the fog, the normal photo, the normal scene during the fog, I don't want to speak so loudly because it's Sunday and there's a lot of house here, a lot of houses, Häuser in Deutschland, Häuser in auf Deutsch. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to speak loudly. As I said, I am sure I will find a lot of things because a normal scene, a very boring scene, during the fog, it will be fantastic. So, but my hope is that I will be able to make beautiful photos because when you have brilliant scene alone sometimes doesn't it's, it's not enough to have a brilliant photo you have to take care you have to know what are you what what are you doing so let's search together so this is the first scene i'm thinking about it and i'm thinking about taking a photo here as you know, 90% of my photos are about paths, small paths between trees, and I, I like the colors of this of this tree here on the left hand side. And I'm thinking take a photo something like that, you know, the path disappearing to the right, and the nice colors of the tree on the left hand side, orange. And on the right side also there's a lot of mm, yellow color. I will try to take it with my 50 millimeter lens, something like that. I will not include the sky. And that's why I will zoom in. I will use my 50 millimeter lens and something like that. So this is the photo that I was talking about. I decided to take it like that. And the setting of the photo, as you can see, I took it at f2.8 to have a little bit of softness in the scene and I was using obviously a CPL filter so here is the second photo that I I'm thinking I didn't take actually I'm thinking about taking the taking it. What I like about it there's three trees only three trees standing standing up or standing alone in the in the disappearing fog behind they are a little bit behind the fog and I I, I you know I mean you you don't see that every day. What I am searching for today is that when you see the photo that I took you feel something special you don't feel that you see the scene every day the scene is boring because we see every day i will try to take the photo but definitely with my 7300 millimeter lens because the trees are far away and i don't want i can be closer to the trees but i don't want because i i want them like this okay let's try to take it so this is the photo that i was talking about i'm not sure if you will be able to see it correctly because it's so bright no i don't mean bright because problem with exposure but because the fog is so heavy
I think the winner lens today in today's video is the 70 300 millimeter lens because I did a lot of photos and I think I like most of them I think actually I like uh, all of them because I, I love I love taking photos during the fog uh, expect the first photo was with the 50 uh, millimeter lens and the last one with the 10 20 millimeter lens I I also like a lot the last one with the 10 20 millimeter lens because I was working on the scene something like 30 minutes really I just want to fill the photo every you know every uh, place of the photo I want it to be to be something in in the frame and don't have I, I, I was trying not to have empty space or boring space in the frame that's why as you could see uh, on the left hand side I had the tree and the beautiful leaves and on the right hand side I had uh, the path going through uh, through the photo beginning of the photo uh, along to the end of the photo and uh, both trees on the right hand side so I was trying to, to fill the frame with a lot of things and try not to look boring or to have empty space in the frame so that's why I think I, I also I will like it and I did three photos uh, uh, focus stack because the uh, what I want to say because the leaves on the left hand side were so close to the lens and I didn't want them to you know be blurry blurry or not uh, sharp enough that's why I made uh, three photos focus tag the first photo I was focusing at the end of the photo the second one something in the middle and the last one I was focusing on the leaves which are on the left hand side so these where all the photos and I'm going back home it's Sunday but I I still have to do something <laughs> so uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video bye for now